Okay friends, I am in the process of putting some page kits, collection kits together with some photos. So I thought I would film this process in, in um, showing you how I'm going to use some of my existing collections and hopefully some base pages because I'm getting ready for a crop that I'm attending next weekend. And um, I usually don't leave it this far out. Uh, like I don't cut it this close, but life is what it is. And um, I've gone ahead so I don't have to kind of run back and forth. Um, I've put just a few and then I figure once I kind of go through these, I would go to my base pages. Um, cause I also like to keep it interesting. I don't always like to work with collections. I like to work with my base pages and, um, just page kits, if you will. So because I don't want to do a whole lot of, um, running back and forth if I need cardstock or things like that. Um, your best friend when you're doing this and you want to kind of keep some kind of flow, even if you're not recording, is post-its. So that you, if you think of something um, when you're putting the page kit together, that you can just write it down. So I have that. I also want to grab and, or have handy, I should say, not even, I don't even have to take them out, but just to have them handy is just, um, I have these record sleeves that I use that I just ordered a whole bunch from Amazon. I prefer the ones that aren't zipped, like that have the, like a Ziploc. Uh, that's just a matter of preference. Um, and um, if you just go in there uh, into Amazon, if you're interested in these, this is what I store my collections in. I just reuse them and um, they come in really handy for page kits. So if I don't want to take the whole collection, um, this is what I end up doing. So, all right. So let me just set this one aside. Ooh. And uh, this is... The Everyday Memories from Echo Park. I've used this before. And I have some of these cut parts. I have a sticker sheet. Um, so I know the pictures that I want to scrap. I think maybe I'm going to just... Yeah, I'm like, I know, I'm like, I have a feeling these are to the sides that I don't want. Okay, so here's this. Here's the B-side cut parts. This is a cute paper. Oh, I think uh, some of these, uh, I have four of, I didn't buy them. This, I think, we got at a crop that I attended. So I have a lot of paper but I don't have a lot of design so here's the A side and here's the B sides like there's not too much to pick from from the B sides but I think I think this is the same three or four papers and then here's the B side so what I think I'm going to do let me see which one I like better I think I definitely like these two better together. Or I can use this as my background, my accent. Let me just double check and see how many photos I have. Uh, five. May not use all of them. One, two. three okay so I may want to do a double page so let me just put in two of these background I'll throw in two of these just for good measure I don't think I'm gonna end up using two but you never know okay two and two 
and then so that will be one page kit let me just look at the b side of this um i think i will put one of these cut aparts in and maybe i'll do two because we, i might want to use like just a strip of this okay so i'll do this one of each of these and then the sticker sheet which is where here okay i have a feeling this is not the same collection so maybe i'll just put these in my I, these need to go on my scraps these um this is my page kit so i will go ahead and set these aside and i think i may just end up putting these in my stash if yeah okay Oh, I had these extra ones. Uh oh. Oh, these are just extras. Literally extras of that other paper already. So I think I'm going to end up putting this back into my paper, my regular paper. I'm not going to leave it as a collection. Okay, so here's page kit number one. I'm one of the things that I did is um, I have a set of printed pictures that always helps so that you kind of know your theme. If you're wanting to make, you know, full layouts and not base pages, that's helpful. And um, so I'm trying to start off with like my oldest photos and kind of work my way to current. So some of these, um, my kind of miscellaneous old photos I have at the back for now and then I'm just kind of moving them to the front okay so here's my next set so this is what's I have one set of photos and I need to make a decision as to which collection from here I think would be the most appropriate here's what's tricky it is a more it is more of like a zoo type zoo type photos but they're very feminine like the colors in here are very bright which is why I thought maybe the summer summer uh, but they have dinosaurs in them so this is why the dinosaurs so let me just take a look to see approximately how many photos yeah see I can already tell that one I wouldn't use one, two, three, four, five, six photos. All right, this, this photo I'm not gonna use. So I can take that. Okay, so I need to make, I need to make a decision. Let me see, I would love to use this. I don't have any little boys in my family right now. But I would love to use some of these. These are really, this is really cute. I love this green. Look at that. That's really pretty. Even in like a small scale, that would be cute, the dinosaurs. I'm, I'm a little concerned that I think this probably only has one sheet of everything. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna separate the backgrounds. Here's the background. Here's the background. The text. Okay. 
I haven't used the cutter palettes with this one. Oh, here's a pretty background. I immediately gravitated to this green. I just think it's beautiful. Let me look at these others. Oh, I like both of those. Uh, I probably like the multi better though. Huh. What about craft? I do have craft in my stash. Hmm. There is dirt for sure around them. <laughs> All right. So, okay. I'm going to say for the number of photos, I'm going to say two add two um, craft card stocks, right? And then let me see what accent papers I can bring in because I can use this as like to see how it, how I might want it to go. Let me just pull some of these. Most of them are vertical. Yeah, I think there's only one that's not vertical. Let's see, do I like that better? Or the green? I think the green. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just try it with this. No, nope, definitely the green. Now, let me, just for hahas, try this out. That could work as well. What if I do this and this? this cut apart because I can use that. I could use this to mat because it looks like little rocks. Okay. I don't think that one will work. And I really liked these little ones, so I think I can use this as an accent as well. Okay, so there's our page kit. And I'm throwing this in here with the sticker sheet. I don't know what's going on upstairs. <laughs> Something's going on upstairs. I think I should go check. Let me just back this one up. And remember to get the post-it. Where did I put the other one? Oh, it's under, it's under all of this situation here. Did I grab the one that said the collection? Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is my... Oh, good lord. Good lord. So those are my finished kits, page kits. And I'm just gonna put my bags up there. Um, and then this is what else I had pulled. I don't know if I have any summer photos. Let me see. Oh, yes, that's one. That one has been in there for a while and I still have not 
done it. Let me see. These are summer collections, but they don't scream summer. This one, this one does. Let's see if we can find some papers in here for that. Some of these, I, I haven't feel like I haven't ever touched them. I think this is an untouched. That, that is cute. really pretty. Let me look. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um... Let me take a look at the other collection. Oh, this was also this was also a a gift from a crop. I think these are a little bit softer. See, yeah, I think this one. All right. I am going to bag up the other one. These are definitely more vibrant colors in the other one that I just went through. So I'm going to set it aside. Okay. This is Hello Summer by Echo Park. I do like that background. I think I like the pink a little bit more. cute polka dots. I'm going to bring in this paper for now. this this one because I may be able to cut out and I have the stripes on the other side and I can always use this blue one instead of the polka dot okay let's see I don't think I 
more green. I think I like the smaller stripes. And then let me look to see. Oopsies. Yeah, I think I like this one. All right. This is my background. Do I need anything? I think I would just need white mat, white mats. So this is more for my packing. So this is another really helpful thing when you, if you crop outside of your house, I keep these 5x7 iris containers with mats already, already cut. So I can always trim down my picture just a smidge to make it fit. I, I would be okay with this one. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put the mat. Otherwise, I would just put like a note here saying um, like white cardstock for matting or something to that effect. I mean, I always bring white cardstock anyway in my kind of my cardstock essentials, but it's always good to have. Um, okay. And then I can put this away. Oh, I should look to see if there are any others. Sorry for the squeaky chair. Oof. All right. These are definitely travel themed, but they're, they're winter. Winter, 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 winter. So. Let's see what I've got. What do I have? tell that story as well and then this is Christmas all right let's see I have so many photos to order as well um do you guys Do you guys um, ever have or struggle with documenting documenting um, people in your children's lives who, um, particularly friends, I'm talking about friends, not family, documenting friends in your kids' lives who they've had a falling out with and they don't even talk to one to one another anymore um let me know if you do or what you've done in those situations i i have a couple in here where i'm like mm, i don't know what to do <laughs> so uh i'm not doing anything <laughs> i'm not doing anything with those yet Okay. All right. So let me put these away. I'm going to go and grab some of my page kits. No, my base pages and see if I can match them to some photos. I will be right back. So guys, good thing I looked, I went and looked at my base pages because I think I have made up these kits before, hoping that I would be very, um, get a lot done in the month of, <laughs> in the month of October. And I just didn't uh, for many, many, many different reasons. And I think this is pretty much like, like a kit right here, which is beautiful. 
and here's my mint tape. It was already matched with a with photos. Mm, I think I should have enough embellishments in there. I don't think. Uh, let me let me just take a look here. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room for like. Cut aparts. Oh, but I do I do need like some kind of title. Hmm. All right, hold hold it one second. Let me just take a look. Oh, there's no titles on here anyway. But let me just make sure. I think one of these I was thinking that I could. layer a title in it so in here it's in here i know it is no 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 it's not you it's not you it's your other little cut aparts oh oh what a moron it's in the back okay so i'm gonna pack one of these in here as well because i can do some title work in here now i don't have any alphas with this so i am going to make sure i put in here uh, alphas or title because i can look through my words and see if I might have something that would work and I don't need to bring alphas. Cool. See, so sometimes maybe I was a little bit better prepared than I thought. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, but sometimes I surprise myself. Okay, just set that aside. Here's another. I wonder how many. Let me just look. I don't think it's all of these, is it? Oh, I would be so happy. Okay. Okay. So it's it's a number of them. So that's nice. All right. So this is... I can pack all of that. Oh, but I didn't. Okay, so I have my photos and I have the embellishments. This is this is from the scrap room. It's a scrap room kit. Okay. Let me just look at my photos because I already forgot which ones these were. Oh yes, yes, yes. From last fall. Okay, let me just see if I need a double page. I think it is. Um, yep, it's a double page. Okay. So I just, let me pick the background so I don't have to take, oh, I wonder if I put it together and I, I did. I did. I did. I did. Look at that. I think I put these two together like that. And then I can add some of these cut parts in there. I don't think I need these though. scrap room kit okay so what would I need for these let me 
maybe some maybe some brown cardstock okay for matting my photos brown cardstock for mats and I need are there any tight oh I don't know if there are any tiles in here. Nope. Okay. So I need titles or an alpha. Let's throw these in here as well. Uh, titles or an alpha. Okay, we are moving. Yep. And then I can put this one back. This one is a page kit. It's already done pretty much. This is a 31 days of sketches. Maybe some off-white. Oh, I don't have very many off-white mats. There we go. So I only do those mats for the white and off-white. That's it. Okay, there. I need some finishing touches like I can look through the I can look through the collection from collection I don't I don't think I have I don't think I have embellishments I think I have like cut aparts and then if not or um color bins and then I want some enamel dots okay and I need a title alpha This is another one where I can just grab, that's the wrong one, I just grab a mat. This is from the Storyteller Collection. So I need a title or alpha. Uh, storyteller embellishments. And I want some enamel dots. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. 
which I know and these are Storyteller because they I have some still left over. And then I don't have to carry like the whole collection. Do you know what I mean? So, okay. All right. Let me see. So this is a jumbled mess, I know, because I remember putting it together like, oh yeah, this will work. I really like that. these two together. I don't know if I like the green or the pink as a background. I think I like the pink a little bit better. Um, bring my card stock in my commonly used so I have to the crop I bring white off white um, I bring black navy gray and brown those are kind of my standards of what I bring so I brought in some white card stock into this because I figure I can maybe matte this like that or I can um, I can use it just as a very simple um, simple map for the photo and I can also map the layout all right so then I'm gonna go through the I have Hold some embellishments. So let me let me just take a look at this pink again and make sure the shades. I'm more concerned about the shades rather than anything else. This is a little bit deeper. I may try to use these rub-ons. KI memories. They are so old. I don't even know if they will work, to be honest. But I'll throw them in there. This I was going to use for my title work to use these up. These are older than a lot of stuff <laughs> I own. <laughs> okay, so I think, and I threw this in because of the bunny, but the bunny is wearing coral. Mm. So I don't think the bunny is going to work this go around. So for this, I'm just gonna throw this as a page kit. What do I need? I need, I need embellishments. So, um, and I'm gonna say dimensional embellishments. Um, and I'm not gonna bring I'm not going to put in a map because I can always um, hollow out this one and use it as a mat. Dimensional embellishments, um, and I'm going to put color bins. So I look in there as well. So then what I will do is like a second, a second phase of this is that like I'll pull all of the layouts that need Dim, um, that need embellishments from my color bins and I'll just pull my color bins onto my desk and 
go through each one and just throw them in there, throw them in the kits. All right, so some of these, oh, there was one. Just put those there. There was one. Did I scrap that photo already? Maybe not. See, I was thinking of this one. And I'm going to clip it to the other one that I just did because it's the same collection. Um, so I am going to include another white piece of cardstock, even though I'm taking it with me. I want to have, oh, I ran out of my white textured cardstock. I will be right back. Okay, sorry. So I ended up getting interrupted. I did finish up this kit um that i was working on and um i did this while um i was on the phone i had gotten a phone call so um this one everything was already in here this is a 31 days of sketches many many years ago uh maybe two years ago something like that and then um i just threw in i used up my last two off-white maps or cream colored mats for there's two photos in here. So this, I have to make sure that I remember and I'm gonna do it right now because I will probably forget. So these two, as I mentioned, go together, sort of. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best to clip these. I don't know if these will stay. Um, I just have my, my little clips on a jump ring here and sometimes I find that these like slide off so I don't know if this will stay but um, this one is done and see this one and this one are from the same collection uh, yep, yeah, here's the top. I think these little ones I'm not gonna use because I think those are the ones that were falling off before. So, but I'm gonna just put them, put those two together. All right, so here's, I think these are base pages as well. Let me just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, um, give you all this glare needlessly. So here are two base pages. What are these? Just, there's like stuff in here. Yeah. So these are base pages as well. Oh, I think it's from the same, got it, got it. It's from the same collection. I see. Okay. So let me just take a look and see which one. How many photos do I have? This is not very many. Okay. So it's two photos. So it's like something like this. Or was it like this? Mm, I don't remember now. Ugh. Let's see, I think this one I vaguely remember. It was supposed to be like a double page and you go like this and you go like this. And then you use your photos. So I just have to figure out which one I like the look of better with these photos. I kind of like that one.
I think I like this one. And I'm going to put some brown in here. Okay, let's get my brown cardstock from here. That's a close match to those pine cones. Okay. There's a little bone. So this is good. I'll put this in here. And I have the die cuts. And I have a whole bunch of um, stickers. Some of these are not gonna pertain because it's not winter where they are <laughs> for Christmas. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these other base pages together because they are from the same collection and I'm just gonna leave these, um, I'm gonna leave the collection showing in the front. I really don't want to separate these. I think that's why I had it looked like a little bit of a mess there. Okay, so I need a bag. And what do I need for this? I have I think I have everything. I've included what I will use as my mat. I've included and in, there's enough I think in here for that page kit. Okay. So let's see, I have this one, again, as I mentioned, I previously made these, oh, I think I liked those two together, I have two, three photos, so I can cut them down. Four photos actually. Oh wait, am I only gonna use two? I think I'm only gonna use two, so I'm gonna keep these in here. And I'm going to grab my white mats. And I'm gonna put two in here. And so what do I need in here? I need title or alphas. This is gonna make me go through my words. I'll tell you that. Um, dimensional. Embellishments, which I have a ton for, for Christmas, um, seasonal. Okay. We'll call this good. The other thing is I do end up bringing my post-its to the crop because I find it helpful when I'm working on things to um if i'm if i'm missing something that i know i have in my stash then i will um make a note of it okay i think i'm gonna have plenty for the crop to be honest with you um these i think are from the same kit this is 
more stuff. Okay, these are going to be definitely easier. <laughs> I think I'm going to put like, my easy ones on the, at the top of my... Yeah, this is good. So this needs... This has everything, including uh, stuff to mat. So I'm going to put alpha or title. And then dimensional embellishments or color bins. Okay. Oh, and I want enamel dots. I usually just bring all my enamel dots, but I may just go through the, these and see if there's maybe some that I need more of than the others. So this is like, I had just a few um, papers from this. Um, so I made this page kit. Let me see if there's any white. I don't think there's any white back here. I think I wanna mat my photo in white just to give it a pop of So that one will go in there. I will bring in my distress inks if I want, like say, you know, something not so stark white. And then I will just go ahead and just trim very lightly around the photo to be able to make that matte. So what do I need for this? Um, I would like some enamel dots. Um, do I have anything in here for title? Mm. Probably, probably not. I'm going to say title or alpha. And then I'm going to say for sure enamel dots. And then I have a bunch of these die cut. Like I actually physically die cut them th with metal dies I could always pop those up as embellishments so I think I'm just going to keep it to this I'm just going to use what I have in here um then I can always come back and add if I feel like it's missing something okay let me put these white over here and then I have all oh, these. Let's see, what is this? Oh, what in the world? Why are these in here? This is not a Halloween layout. Okay, this is three photos. These should not be in here. They have zero to do with Halloween. So that goes into my Halloween stash. This, I am going to put in, if it'll come, a white piece of cardstock. I may actually put... Um, cardstock for matting, either, um, pink, or this, um, or teal, one or the other. I do need a title for this or alpha and then for the embellishments um i'm going to say um check my chamel um sticker book
All right. So I think that one is good. I always like to work with these a little bit more because I, I, they tend to go faster for me. And I'm all about that right now. <laughs> all right. And then this one is something I put together with uh, six by six papers. This was for a class by Scrapbook Generation. So let's see, I need title or alphas. Every one of them needs the same thing, title or alphas. I need enamel dots and I need um, dimensional embellishments or um, puffy, not puffies, color bins. So it'll make me go look in both of those places. And then this is the same kind of color scheme. Similar, not the same. And then this, I think this is just two page. Yep, it's a two page. I think it's from the same class. Yes. So this is... When is this from? Oh, okay, so this is from the spring. This, I would love to mat these. Hmm, what color? Oh. I think I'm supposed to mat them in this color. What about, I think that's why I left that there. Or that's what the design called for. How, how bad does that look? I don't think that looks bad at all. Maybe I'll throw two sheets of that. Two sheets of this in here. And then I can always hollow them out to map my photos. Um, what do I want to say? Um, check for, I may try to add, so for, um, check mats, uh, fuchsia or teal. And then I need a title or alphas, embellishments, first enamel dots. I could always let's let's just go for the color bins. Let's just do it. Use up some of the things in there. Okay. That is good. And okay. So let's take a pause there and see how many are in here. So we've gone through quite a few. Let me just move this bag. All right. Normally, I will say I, I try to and get through somewhere around 15 or less. So let's see how many are in here. So I just want to make sure they're pointing the right way. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, because there's two in here. 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I think we have more than enough here. So, um, the next part of this, I'm going to be separating. You know what I didn't do to this one? Unless it's backwards or somewhere else. I did not. Put a sticky so I need I need either title or alpha enamel dots and I'm gonna just put color bins I'm gonna do the title work first though because that will probably take me the longest for all of these okay All right, so let me set these aside and clean up this area for, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about pictures I've put back right now. And I'm just gonna set this one aside as well. All right. So let me see, do all, I think they probably all need, see this one, I didn't put, add to crap I need I don't know if I did this very good I don't think I started off well because I need I need title or alpha and then I need enamel dots for this one and I have the sticker sheet. Yes, I'll make do with the sticker sheet and that'll be it for this one. Let me look at the, let me look at the sticker sheet for this one to see if I have a title. I don't know about these titles. I think I may, if I find one, I might look for them. Hopefully I'll find them. Can you tell I have been up since three o'clock this morning? Yeah, starting to catch up with me. It must be close to three. <laughs> Usually around the 12 hour mark, I'm like, ugh. Okay, so title or alpha, and I also want enamel that's this okay what did I put here this one's done this one's done alphas and titles okay so I'm gonna start separating these into categories and I'll tell you my categories in a sec This one doesn't need anything. Cool. Okay. So I've broken them up into categories. These are all base pages. So what does that mean? 
it means that the layout is pretty much like finished. And so these pages will tend to go a lot faster than those that I need to cut the paper, or put them on, you know, put them on, um, put them on so that they can, um, so it, that it will flow. Okay, so here I've just separated these into kind of two separate, this is, this is more like people and relationships and that sort of thing. And then this could go either way, like exploring, um, vacation type words. Not that it's gonna matter, but if I don't find anything in my words, I can always go into my themes. So that's, that's the main reason for that. All right, so now, um, so I'm gonna take a pause here and I am, um, let's do a separate video for the embellishments.